Semis under pressure today. The SMH ETF is down more than 3%, led lower by NVIDIA. AMD is also in the red, and that name is reporting earnings tonight in overtime. Joining me now, Stacey Raskin, Bernstein Research Senior Analyst. Welcome back. It's nice to see you. Good to be here. It's funny. That there's a lot that matters in this report, but even you suggest that all that probably will matter to investors is the AI story. Yeah, that's probably going to be top of mind for, for most investors. That seems to be for AMD what they've cared about. Frankly, it's, it's what's really, I know the stock is down off the peak, but if you look over the last year or two, it's still up quite a bit. Numbers have actually mostly come down for them over that period. The whole thing that's been supporting the stock has been increasing expectations for that AI store. And I do think that's where investors are going to be focusing their attention tonight. Okay, well, what's most important to watch as it relates to that? I mean, it's the guide for their MI300 business, and they've been sort of ticking it up through the year. They went from, I can't remember, $2 billion to $3.5 billion. Now the guide is $4 billion. Um, I'd say expectations have gotten even higher than that. I think uh, expectations for most of my clients have been in the 5 to $6 billion range. Maybe given the drawdown in the stock, maybe they're a little lower now, 4 and a half to 5 but they clearly need to take that guidance for the year up. I think if they don't take it up, nothing else is going to matter, uh, regardless of what happens in the rest of the business. How much of, of AMD's issue issues, I mean, if you even want to use that word, and maybe I'm wrong to use it, is simply the fact that it's not NVIDIA? People have been looking at AMD as a second source. There's, there's a view that, you know, NVIDIA is, is clearly fairly dominant in what they do, and, and the market needs a second source. And it's a big market, in theory. People have been throwing out numbers, you know, that it's hundreds of billions of dollars, which actually is not implausible. But the idea that they can get a relatively small piece of a very big market that could drive a lot of upside. And I think that's that thesis on its surface makes sense. I think the issue such it is, and again, I always say this, I don't want to knock AMD for what they are. I mean, they're doing like even if they do four billion this year, it was zero a year ago. OK, so that's objectively by itself. That's a, that's quite the accomplishment. But. In the grand scheme of things, frankly, it's kind of a rounding error given the magnitude of what we're seeing from their competitors. Um, and if you're looking at sort of, especially as you're going forward, you're looking at the competitive roadmaps between the two, it's getting tougher, not, not easier. I mean, right now is probably the best position competitively that AMD is going to be in if we're looking at, at, at what their competitors have next year. And again, if they can't significantly upside in, in that environment, like how do you do it as, as the competitive environment gets tougher as the roadmaps continue to evolve? So I think that's, that's the issue. It's not that they're doing anything wrong. I'm actually kind of impressed with what they've been able to do with what they have over the last year or two. But you know, given what they're up against, it's, it's just a tough fight. That's all. It, al it almost, you, you sort of make, make my point of the question that I asked you, right? They're doing all these things, and yet the stock's down 7% year to date it's down 15 percent over a month they theoretically have a good story to tell with a good storyteller at the top and yet it's not nvidia it, it's look even even nvidia and, and lots of the other ai names are, are down recently so like the whole i don't want to say the shine's coming off the ai story i'm still very bullish like on on, on ai stories in general but certainly you know they the, that whole narrative has come under some pressure AMD's also been hit by some more company specifics up there. There's been some speculation of some of the issues, some some potential tech technology issues with like the high bandwidth memory on their parts and maybe some order pushouts or order cuts, which which have impacted the stock, I think, uh, more, more recently. Um, and again, I think as people are doing the comparison on the roadmaps, again, people are starting to realize it, it's it's just tough. And then you look at where the expectations are. Like again, you gotta remember. This is a company where numbers overall for them have come down every single quarter for the last like two years, right? So it's not even like you've got a fundamental, you know, backstop to help things. Like all of the stock performance has been multiple expansion as numbers have come down. We're now at the point where AI actually now starts to, to need to drive upside to numbers and expectations are already high. And if you can't drive upside to those expectations, like you may have an issue.